Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. With 618 on your Monday morning, welcome back. All right, a Monday, and it's not too shabby out there. No. Uh, you know, consider how it was a week ago Monday right. morning. Yeah, it was for sure. rough a yeah. week ago <laughs> at this good. time. And then we really uh, warmed up for a lot of last week, and we stayed warm. And so what's going to happen now is we are going to tumble in temperatures. Mm -hmm. uh, not as much as we did last week, but we are going to see temperatures fall. I got this picture in my uh, inbox, uh, in my email. I don't know who sent it, but it's a beautiful picture northeast of Williston. Gorgeous sunrise there, so thank you to whoever sent this picture. And if you want to uh, get your picture on air, definitely send me an email or you can upload them on our KX Storm Team app as well. Uh, 20s and 30s this morning, very warm. In fact, uh, the warmest day, warmest morning this week and the warmest afternoon this week uh, is today. Right now, 34 in Minot, 31 in Bismarck, 31 in Dickinson, and Williston, you're at 26. Westerly winds are light right now. These are going to increase tomorrow. Today, they're going to stay pretty light uh, or really kind of around that North Dakota standard of 10 to 15 into the afternoon. You'll feel it. It just won't be windy. Uh, we've got temperatures back in the upper 30s to even some 40s today. This is the average hour by hour that we'll have. Uh, some low 30s, of course, into the northeastern uh, parts of our uh, viewing area up towards the Turtle Mountains and into uh, Harvey and Rugby, but uh, we are going to have some good sunshine. We'll increase the cloud cover later on today. Here's the satellite and the radar as we stand now. Nothing to talk about on the radar in terms of precipitation, but we do have some cloud cover that's still lingering. They're high clouds, so we're going to get some beautiful sunshine today once, once it does uh, begin to rise, but we are under the influence of this low pressure. It's actually to the north of us, but it's bringing a cold front in overnight tonight, and that's going to bring us, of course, the cold temperatures and the wind and maybe even a little bit of light snow with that as well. Today, just a, a nice day with the highs back in the 30s and 40s. We do have a chance in the south for a little bit of light snow. Uh, this could be a little bit of a mix too because the temperatures are going to be so warm, but by the time it moves through, uh, we're talking cooling temperatures, so we could even see a little bit of light snow for that 94 corridor. This is 6 p.m. Overnight tonight is where that cold front will move in from the northwest, and that's going to increase our winds starting tonight, and they get very strong throughout the day on Tuesday. So this time tomorrow morning, this is our 6 a.m. Uh, time frame tomorrow morning. We'll be talking strong winds. They stay strong throughout the day, sustained up to 30, gusting to over 40 at times. So we could even see a wind advisory on Tuesday. And with the passing of that cold front, this model hasn't done a good job uh, really picking up on it, but we could see an isolated snow shower or two with that. Uh, very minimal accumulation with that as well. Highs today, again, some of the warmest that we'll have this week. 30s and even the 40s, but say goodbye to the 40s because things are changing. Lows tonight down to the teens. They will be colder tomorrow morning. And then highs tomorrow back into the, uh, the teens and the 20s, as you can see there. Minot and Williston, here's your seven day. Keep in mind this is an average, so there are some areas that we'll see some single digits there on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday for daytime highs. Uh, and overnight lows, sub-zero Tuesday night. Uh, just a little bit of a wind that's going to drop our wind chills down so we could see some very cold wind chills on Wednesday morning. Bismarck and Dickinson, here's your seven day, but we rebound back to the 30s there for the weekend or at least the second half of the weekend. Okay, glad to see that's good timing for mm -hmm. temperatures to come back. I yeah. like that. Yeah. All right, thanks, Amber. Keep it with us on Good Day Dakota. Still ahead. A small gesture giving